WESH 2 NEWS CONTINUES. It is considered a true lifesaver, and now the number is easier to remember. 988 is the suicide and crisis lifeline connecting you anytime you're suffering a mental health crisis with someone trained to help. The federal government is investing more than a billion dollars in 988, and Washington News investigative reporter Greg Fox dug into the numbers to see if that investment is paying off. I'll talk, I'll talk. Get back. I'll Get the talk. Back. Samuel Celestine was tased at his Ocoee home in 2019 after his family called 911, saying he was suffering a mental health collapse. He died, and the family sued police, later settling in court. Today, a growing number of departments, like Orlando Police, have established community response teams with mental health professionals. Those squads are working more incidents since the new 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline launched in July of last year. Nationwide, calls in the first year were up 46 percent. The online chat function up 141 percent and texting up more than 1100 percent. 988 routes calls to different call centers in Florida. In 14 counties, they're operated by the Heart of Florida United Way. You've reached the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. My name Nicole is Benton is the 211 Crisis Services Manager. 988 is a three digit, easier to remember, easier to access number for people who may be in crisis and need immediate um, support. Local 211 has 60 trained specialists, and it's just one of 12 call centers in the state. In the 14 county area, the first year of 988 generated more than 13,000 calls. That prompted more than 400 response team referrals, about 3% of the total. And 135, 1% were redirected to 911 police dispatch. So being able to dial 988 24 seven, seven days a week, being able to know that someone is gonna answer the call and be there for support, I think it's critically important, it saves lives. 988, three numbers, one goal, helping you. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Some are critical of the 988 lifeline, believing it could be a trap for people in a mental health crisis. So Greg is taking a closer look at how the information collected at call centers is being used. That's coming up all new at five o'clock.